And here they come, the Michigan Wolverines, attacking the 2019 season for the very first time. Zach Charbonnet starts the night at running back. The true freshman, as Patterson will throw, now going to have to scramble. Room to run, and a first down. The ball popping out late, and Middle Tennessee has it at the 42-yard line. Gregory Great Jr. knocked it out, and the Blue Raiders get a turnover on the first offensive play. And if you're Middle Tennessee State, that's exactly the hope, the hope that you had in starting this game. They had to get something... Yeah, it's out. Asher O'Hara, the new quarterback for Middle Tennessee, oh, oh, and he finds Ty Lee on the sideline. Lee's the speed burner, Matt, and he's out of bounds at the 25-yard line for the first down. The running back, but he's in the near side slot. Asher O'Hara out of the empty backfield on third and three at the 18. Play clock at three. Great oh, jump in trouble. A huge jump, but he breaks free. Asher O'Hara on the run and the diving touchdown. There is a flag down. And the call is going to be offsides against Michigan as yeah. Michael Blumfor heads to the sideline, banged yeah. up. And Holt's extra point just sneaks in. They get a fumble on the first Michigan offensive play, and then Asher O'Hara marches them in for the touchdown. Middle Tennessee up early. On his right foot. Here's Charbonnet on first down. Charbonnet all the way to the 41-yard line. 14 for Charbonnet as Blankenship and Gray come up from the Middle Tennessee secondary to make the stop. You see the pace of Michigan up to the line quickly. From the 41 on first down, Charbonnet, second straight carry. Doesn't quite find the room this time as DQ Thomas, the first to get a save pick a year ago, is on the both Bednarik and Thorpe Award watch lists to start this season. Third and seven. Patterson to the sideline. That's Nico Collins with a first down to the 41. Starts with the protection. First down at the 41 yard line. Christian Turner. The running back now, another freshman who played three games last year. Turner gets the carry. And Christian Turner upended at the 37-yard line by Desmond Anderson. Well, what I'm, I'm impressed with what I'm seeing right here out of this defense. They're getting to the ball. They're getting off blocks. And they're, they're pretty darn aggressive. That's Scott Schaefer's M.O., the defensive coordinator, former Michigan, D.C., he wants to be aggressive as Patterson fires to Nico Collins again on the sideline. Collins breaks one tackle and needed some help from another. DQ Thomas finally got there to bring him down after he slipped through the Gregory Great grasp. Turner back in there at running back. Collins, the receiver to the bottom of the screen. Fake the give to the motion man. Turner on the sweep. And Turner gets him down the sideline for the first down. It was Ronnie Bell in motion, and then Turner used his speed to get to the edge. That's what On first down, they'll bring pressure. Oh, nice. Patterson floating it for the end zone off the hands of Ronnie Bell and the former basketball player trying to post up against Gregory Graves. He had a lot from freshman running back, especially true freshman. On second and ten, the swing to Charbonnet. Looking for the edge. Good pursuit from behind by Jordan Starling, a freshman from Chattanooga who makes the stop. Tariq Black at the top of the screen with Ronnie Bell. Michigan tightened down. And here comes come. the pressure right up the gut. Patterson has to throw it for the end zone. Bell diving and he just can't pull it in. Boy, that pressure up the middle. Rakavian Poitras last year. This from 34 to get Michigan on the board. 
And that will bend right into the middle of the goalposts and put the Wolverines on the board with 7.37 remaining in quarter number one. Jim Harbaugh was clear and emphatic all offseason saying he would play two quarterbacks in every game this season. I asked him at media days, point blank, does that mean at quarterback or could we potentially see one of those other quarterbacks other than Shea Patterson at a different position? He gave me a definitive answer. He said maybe. Pause for a second and then said, or maybe not. Strange, he usually reveals so much as McCaffrey is tripped up at the 33-yard line. Loss of about a yard on the play as McCaffrey back on the sidelines on third and 11. Patterson under heat, and Patterson is buried. Khalil Brooks with the sack. Punt. It'll trickle out near the five-yard line, but Middle Tennessee. Looking for a little running, and there's none there. Terrell West was snowed under. Aiden Hutchinson. A lot of man coverage here. Pressure again. O'Hara on the run. Throws incomplete. That was Mike Dana. It's Wilson's first carry. And Wilson picks up three to the 36. But usually after a big play downfield is what they do. Second and seven at the 36. Play action. Patterson got some help from Wilson. So this is well blocked. He had a lot of time. True Wilson was sacrificial. <laughs> and it's 10-7 Michigan. Tariq Black with the touchdown. True Wilson, as you said, sacrificing himself to make sure Patterson had time. He knows what he's got to do. And he's going to have some pressure coming right here. Watch. Right. Boom. He just. It's okay. He's blocked. He got run over. That's fine because he was able to get the ball off. And here's Black, just the defender fell down. He had even had to wait for that ball. But because True Wilson. First and 15, Cunningham going up top. One-on-one -on -one coverage in the pass incomplete. He was looking for DJ England Chisholm. Second and 15 at the 20. Cunningham on the screen out, nowhere to go. Dalton, France, buried by Vincent Gray, 11 yards since. And a swing pass looking for running room, and there is none there. Brad Hawkins all over Jaron Pierce. Second and five. Patterson off play. Action black open, and black caught at the 41-yard line by Reed Blankenship. He was about to shift it into another gear. Patterson again, quick toss, Black another catch, and Tariq Black another first down. This to the 28 and pick up of 12. Start his season for 106 yards. From the 28 on first down, play action again. Patterson back up top, Patterson for Nico Collins, leaping grab for the touchdown. the extra point up and good for Michigan and Nico Collins who had six touchdowns a year ago grabs his first of the year yeah, look at this and they're bringing extra people and there's nobody around there Shea Patterson has lots of time to step into it and make a great throw look like 13 True Wilson headed to the locker room as the swing is intercepted it's Ambry Thomas great great play that's a great catch. That is, I'll tell you what, it, that is so hard to do right there. He was going lateral. 
And that he tried to sneak that ball in over the top and he just picked it out. That's, that's just a great play. Media timeout. Asher O'Hara, welcome back. Ambry Thomas, feeling good, feeling better now after that pick. Patterson play action, ball deflected at the line and incomplete. Looking for Sean McEwen, but Rakadian Poitras got his hand on this that one. Smart. He's using all the skill people. Looks like more pressure, and here they come off the edge. They set up the screen. Turner looking for a block, and he just lost his footing. Man, they're going to be, they're showing it. Now they're getting out of it. Patterson to the air. Through the fingertips of Nico Collins, and incomplete. A little bit on the backside of him. Needed to lead him a little bit more. Swing pass to West. Positive yardage, but not near enough for the first down. Stopped at the 28-yard line, and now fourth down for Middle Tennessee. And to further review, the runner was not down before he lost possession. The ball was recovered by Michigan. The ball will be placed at the yard line, first and ten. Clock off by the Twins put 7-1-9. 7 one 9, seven one nine on the game clock. Patterson with three receivers to his left. Taking the shot. Open and off the hands of Ronnie Bell. Second down at the 28. Patterson going up again. He's got his tight end. It's McHugh breaking tackles. Heading to the end zone. Four to seven lead for Michigan. Seven oh eight remaining in the first half, and now a word from our sponsor, Nationwide. Down and four for Middle Tennessee. Fair catch by Hill. Bobbled. Middle Tennessee on top of it at the thirty-four yard line. The muff punt turns it over to the Blue Raiders. O'Hara jumps oh, pass nice. to the five, lunging for the goal line and short at the one. That is all O'Hara. O'Hara, nobody open. Now floats it for the back of the end zone, touchdown! Jaron Pierce got free, and O'Hara found him on the roll for six. A little shot put pass. Holtz extra point up and good, and the big house quiet for the moment. With to the air again, open, and Cornelius Johnson, the freshman, with the grab. That'll be a first down at the 37 in the first half. Patterson, Patterson just nice. in a terrific catch by Cornelius Johnson. That's a great catch by Johnson. Now he throws this ball before he gets out of his break. You're gonna watch it. See this? Ball's in the air. Watch the adjustment. He turned back inside right at the last second, pulled it in with one hand. And Patterson will clock it with 20 seconds remaining. It Patterson stepping away from pressure. Patterson. On the run, headed for the sideline, out of bounds at the nine. That's a five-yard scramble. Middles open as well. They still have two timeouts if they stop short. Third and five from the nine. Patterson for the end zone, incomplete. He was looking for Mike Sainra still. Pretty good coverage out there. And the field goal is good. And Michigan has a 27 to 14 lead with five seconds to go in the first half. He went on and on about Jack. Second and six. Fumbled snap. O'Hara in trouble. He's down. Back at the 14 yard line, Josh Uche.
O'Hara in all kinds of trouble. Just has to get rid of it, and he throws it through the hands of Lavert Hill. Hill was thinking about his touchdown dance before he looked the ball in, and a missed opportunity for Michigan. Yeah, that was... Uh... On the bench for this series as Dylan McCaffrey comes in. And McCaffrey, using the wheels on the very first play, has a first down. As the receiver to the bottom of your screen. Patterson will keep. Blockers in front. Nice move by Patterson and a big hit leveled by Gregory Great. McCaffrey on the keep again. And McCaffrey with a first down. To the 22, he picks up nine. He looks like his dad. First and goal at the six. McCaffrey will keep again. McCaffrey open field touchdown. Patterson back in at quarterback. And a little problem on the exchange, and the two-point conversion is no good. Turner covered up the ball. Ben Van Sumeren was the other the running back no back there, and the try no good. So a 33-14 lead for Michigan. We'll step aside for 30 because seconds. They brought more numbers than you have the block. And again, two freshman tackles tonight for Michigan. McCaffrey posting to the 10-yard line and down at the 9 in the arms of Khalil Brooks. Now we do, you are seeing some option stuff here with the run game where he's reading that that defender that they're leaving unblocked. Second to goal at the 9. McCaffrey going to run it again. And McCaffrey down at the 4 as he fumbles it out of bounds. Moffitt and Render combine to provide the pop on the sideline for Middle Tennessee. The 7-yard line. Eric All, freshman tight end in motion. McCaffrey will keep again. McCaffrey looking for a block, looking to extend the football, and instead he's pushed back on the one. Javante Moffitt denied him the score, and now fourth and goal at the one. And let the outside defender make the play. Fourth and goal at the one. Charbonnet trying to find room up the middle. He's not going to get there. Denied. Jordan Branch and Middle Tennessee stops Michigan on the doorstep. West Lafayette Purdue trying to bounce back from a heartbreaker last night, losing to Nevada. Asher O'Hara back in at quarterback from the end zone, throwing for a little breathing room and a juggling catch made at the 15 yard line. DJ England Chisholm knocked out by Brad Hawkins. Did he get control? Doesn't look like it. Ruin on the field was an incomplete pass. The ruling is incomplete. It'll stay incomplete. Trying to find room to roam and nowhere for Mobley to go, and he just got out of the end zone to the one yard line. <laughs> O'Hara going deep down the sidelines, incomplete. Just airing that out for Jaron Pierce, Josh Metellus, the Wolverine in coverage, and Sam Lister. Just got rid of that one. Bell from the 41. Bell with a blocker in front. Inside the 25, Bell to the 20. Steps around some defenders and is thrown out of bounds at the 15-yard line. I think it looked like he almost got thrown down by the face. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. Michigan's bench thought Joseph Sewell grabbed him on the face mask and tossed him out of bounds from the 15-yard line. Bell in motion. Gets the toss. Bell cuts back inside the 10 and grabbed around the ankles by Moffitt at the 9. The middle Tennessee 9. Christian Turner's rushed for 49 yards today. He'll get a chance for more here. Nice little cutback on a play that looked like it was going to be a loss. He ends up getting back to the line of scrimmage. On third down and four at the nine. Patterson looking, Cullen 
Evans trying to adjust over the defender, and there's a flag. Justin Brown and Nico Collins draws the contact and the flag. Second and goal to two. A little bobble, Van Sumer unable to corral it, and then backs his way to the one. So now third and goal for Michigan. I shun render the first guy to get there. Got some help from Reed Blankenship. Actually, that time the O-line had a great push. <laughs> third and goal. Van Sumer and in for the touchdown. Good 40 to 14. 40 points on the board after the touchdown by number four. The pressure. On second down, O'Hara to the air. Good grab again by Marshall and Jimmy Marshall on the run. Marshall into the end zone for the touchdown. His first since November 25 of 2017. Jimmy Marshall, 59-yard touchdown, and it's 40 to 21. Second down. Again, it's Haskins. Stays in bounds. Clock will continue to run. It's third down. Red Shepard on the stop for Middle Tennessee. Jim Harbaugh can start thinking about Army now. They're up next. Will not be an easy task. You talked with Don Brown about it, and he said, I've been prepping oh, for yeah. them for exactly. weeks. Not an easy task to defend against that Army triple option attack, and that'll be Michigan's task next week. But they come out of this one 1-0 with a 40-21 win over the Blue Raiders of Middle Tennessee.